Hi everyone, here we are at Tamora Motel. Beautiful sunny day with blue skies uh, on a Friday. I'm going to take you, I'm going to run the motel. Um, we've had a request from one of the buyers, Jasper, so I thought we'd do it for everybody to give you an idea. Um, just as an indication, we've got. Uh, that road there leads straight to Wagga, 85 k's, and that's where you'd fly into from Brisbane or Sydney. Uh, so it's a, a an hour's drive basically. And then we've got over to the other end. We've got um, that takes us into town. So we're about uh, oh, five minute walk into the restaurants and bars and. Uh, Woolworths and everything else in there. Fantastic, busy little town. Let's run through some of the things I know about Tamora. Um, so it was settled in 1836. The gold mine or the gold rush was 1879. The train came through in 1893. Massive um, livestock, mainly sheep, wool produced through here, wheat. Um, those sorts of things so it's a population tomorrow's population of about uh, 6200 so 6200 it's actually beyond that but uh, roughly about that, that size so it's got Woolworths it's got um, uh, IGA it's got all the major banks um, number of hotels only a couple of motels um, and we've been running at about a, a hundred percent occupancy for about uh, 30 days now so um, and then rails coming so that'll be uh, over the next five years and probably book out the motel for 18 months if you're interested um, so they're, they've just had all the servers and the workmen about to start on that that uh, happening of course the gold was here as well so the uh, gold gold mine was running from 1986 to 1996 so um, yeah that's about it about the town yeah if you come here you'll see it's quite vibrant it's not like some of the retirement towns there's still a lot going on big role at the high school all those sorts of things anyway let's let's take a wander shall we so you'll see You'll see, there's Richie over there, but you'll see it's an 8,000 square metre block. So if we just talk about that for a moment, it's rectangular, slightly sloping but not much. So you can look at doubling the size. Um, we've got 11. You'll see at the top end there, the 12th unit has been turned into a, um, into a shed where the right on mower goes but that could be um, your 12th unit or you could double the size and just put the same same style of motels on the southern grass side you've got a massive and then you've got a massive amount of uh, land up the back there too right let's go through here we go we're going into reception Richie can you just stay there so we're going through to reception Just a basic setup, most booking, manual booking, everything you need for payments, etc. The computer system is just behind the the desk, it's all done here. Obviously, there's still manual um, manual booking sheets if you want them. This is a large lounge area for the owner or manager. And you can see that uh, it's, it is still separate from the motel units itself. So we're going to walk through. There are two doors. It's a large, just a large cabinet area. I imagine this was a dining room for breakfast many years ago. But those days are gone. So this is your commercial kitchen area um, or for the owner. 
commercial fridge there. The two bedrooms. And the bathroom. This is your bathroom area. And the bedrooms are through there. Okay. Not going in there. Okay. This is the laundry area. Although it's uh, the laundry is is leased um, deliveries twice a week it's actually from a um, from a young laundry that's the cheapest so we've got large space they hold I think it's 44 sets in and out and then they hold 44 on site so you've got plenty just in case anything happened that you can't this is Dean hey Dean Dean's a cleaner dash maintenance dash everything man and we're going to see his handiwork in a minute so we've just come back through the kitchen and this is the entry to um, the motel so it's separate that's the laundry through there okay so it's all quite quite separate, but you are attached, you know, and when it is wet. We'll just see if there's anything open here. Okay, there's a unit. Basically, it's unoccupied. And it's all modern. Very basic, but modern and they're all different they've done it really really well so we might just Dean is there anyone in these ones at the moment uh, no. no sweet so we can open the doors so here's another one so this has the banks in it microwave there's your little kitchenette there cups on the side mirrors fridge Air conditioning unit, all good. And once again, it's been updated, nice and clean and tidy, roomy. It's an ironing board in this one. So you'll see that they're all really well appointed. Good condition. Let's have a look at the cart. How many rooms are you doing today, Dean? All of them. All them. Number eight. So Dean's doing 10 rooms by himself today and doing an extremely good job, I might add. Because I go into so many motels, you can tell. Oh. It's motivational music. So he's into his, I won't interrupt him because he's into his routine, as we all know is important. So there's a little fridge, modern and clean, same air conditioning unit, they're all good, remote, TV, and yeah, this is a wee bit different, just the king size with a single, the other one had the, um, the banks in it, but all well appointed. So it's, it's a very simple system, simple motel to run, 11 units. So Friday, is it all the workers have gone back, gone home, Dean? All the workers? Yeah. On ones at work day? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so they'll, they'll go to work today and then leave and then come back Monday morning. Yeah. Yeah, or Sunday night. Yep. Excellent. So they're, they're all mirror images, but they've been upgraded and painted, and and I think we've got here's an example. This one is probably one of the last of the older ones to do, and it has the bath in it. That's right. 
So they've taken, made a larger bathroom to have a bath available uh, for kids, obviously. Um, but yeah, still nice and clean and tidy. So this is the extra. You could turn, you'll notice it's quite big, into your 12th unit if you wanted to. Um, but it's great for storage. And we'll just flip up here. This is extra land. Rarely isn't utilised. Most of this will, will all go. Uh, there is a container there that could stay if you wanted it. But it, it'll go. Uh, most people want it gone. The ride-on can be a chattel if you want it. It's a zero, zero turn, I think they call them. And you can either get Dean to do it or you can do it. And it doesn't take long to run over it. It's just been way too wet um, with the amount of rain we've had. And yet now, uh, with only a couple of days, it's, um, it's back, to, back to being firm. It's firm and not, not wet at all. So here we have it. That's it. We've just run you through the the motel uh, tomorrow motel it's it's uh, pretty good it's easily maintained development potential or just leave it as it is it, um, you're on 100% occupancy you're, you're guaranteed at least 90% um, depending on the workload you you really want to uh, have Ideal semi-retirement, ideal if you're down, downgrading the size of your current motel, as uh, I think Jasper might be, might be doing. You'll notice uh, panels up on the roof. Let's get that. Panels up there. Obviously in the, in the laundry you do have commercial dryers. And washers there um, it's just a hell of a lot easier and cheaper to to send them away and lease the laundry so any questions um, feel free to call 040 297 0217 um, and we can we can take you through the profit and loss once you've signed the confidentiality agreements Obviously, it'd be worthwhile coming out and, and having a look. Uh, we've got buyers coming out next week, so um, feel free to make an appointment and uh, we can take it from there. Thanks very much. Thanks from Brian McManus Real Estate and Richie. Hey, buddy, what do you reckon? Do you like this motel? He likes it. It's a lovely town, lovely country town, and it's just gonna improve get bigger they've got uh, uh, more houses being built pro uh, land being released um, for development which is awesome so yeah feel free to give me a call and, and we'll get you through and get the information to you so it's brian at brian mcmanus real estate.com um, 040 or 0457217925 Thank you.